Today we are identifying the equation of any asymptotes and coordinates of any holes for this specific rational uh, function that we're given. Uh, so what we need to start off with is we need to um, find and identify our non-permissible values which are located on our denominator. So our non-permissible values equal x minus 3 and x equals 1. Those are our non-permissive values. The next thing that we need to do is we need to factor our, um, nomina uh, our nominator. So if you notice, we have an extra number here, which is negative 1 over 4, which will not affect any of our asymptotes or holes. So we're just going to leave that for now. So x plus 3, x plus 2. Uh, and then we'll have x minus 3 from our original uh, function over x plus 3 times x minus 1. So if you notice here, we have a common factor uh, between our nominator and our denominator, which is x plus 3. So we can cancel those out, which will result in our whole. So we'll have a whole at x equals minus 3. That is our whole. The next thing that we need to do is we need to find any vertical asymptotes that are here. Vertical asymptotes are located on our denominator, which is in this case x minus 1, which will give us a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. We do not have any horizontal asymptote in this function because um, the the denominator have a bigger degree than the denominator, and they're not equal, so which will not we'll, so we'll not have any horizontal asymptote. And in this case, because our nominator have one degree more than the denominator, we'll have a slant asymptote. So what we need to do in order to find our slant asymptote is that we need to foil this part or expand it, and then divide it by x minus one. So we start foiling that, which will give us x squared minus x minus 6. Now we need to use uh, and then divide it by x minus 1 in order to give us our slant asymptote. So we will use uh, a synthetic division to do this. So for synthetic division we need our coefficient from our um, equation which in this case is 1 and then we have minus 1 and minus 6 divided by x equals 1 so what happens is that we'll bring the first coefficient down, times it by our um, 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And 0 times 1 is 0, which will give us negative 6. Now, what we need to notice here is that we have a negative 1 over 4 here, which will affect our slant asymptote. So our slant asymptote will be, so slant asymptote equals uh, y equals negative 1 over 4. And then, in this case, for here, we have y equals x. So we'll have x here. This is the equation of our slant asymptote. The last thing that we need to do is to find our x-intercepts and our uh, y-intercepts. Our x-intercepts are located on our nominator, which are these two. So x-intercepts. equal x minus 2 and x plus 3. Those are our x-intercepts. And our y-intercepts will be, so in order to find our y-intercepts, we need to substitute 0 for the x's that we have here. And so these three x's, we have to substitute 0. And then this also, negative 1 over 4, will affect our y-intercept. So what we need to do is that we'll have y-intercept equal, so we have negative 1 over 4 times, we substitute 0 here, 2, and then we substitute 0 for x here as well, negative 3, over, substitute 0 again, negative 1, negative 2 times, uh, sorry, negative 3 times 2 is 6, over negative 1, um, and then times negative 1 over 4, which will give us the answer negative 1.5 which is our right
and that's it we're done